What's up guys and gals? This is the first episode of Master of None. This probably won't help you if you've got a huge blob of, of a mess all over your print bed, but if you happen to run out of filament or your filament gets snagged and you just have a model that's just halfway built, then this should be perfect for you. Let's uh, check it out. The first thing you want to do is take out your caliper and measure the height that the print head left the printed object. Now we can extrapolate from this information what layer it was on and edit the g-code. So I got about 17.14 millimeters, go ahead and make sure you measure all the sides and then you just go back into your slicer and check out what layer height you had. Uh, mine was about 0.2 so we take our measured one and I'm rounding up to 0.2 since it's a multiple so I'm doing 17.2 divided by 0.2 and we get 86. So I'm assuming we left off on layer 86. Now in uh, Kira, after you slice it, it gives you this G-code file. Uh, and in this G-code file, it has all these layer tags. So you know where your layer is. So you control F, go ahead and find layer 86. Let me go to it. And you're gonna wanna copy that Z value right there um, so this is the Z value of which the print head left it at and we're gonna go ahead and test if that's actually close to what uh, it actually is at to see if 86 is it Let's see if we have to go up a layer down a layer so go ahead and send the G code to your printer with G0 and then Z and the height and uh, it should move to the correct position so after it's moved there, you want to go ahead and check if the nozzle is the correct height at which it left on. And if you're going to be moving the print head by hand, you want to make sure that you remember to rehome your printer before you start printing again. After you've checked all is good, you go ahead and highlight all the layers between 1 and 86, and you can just go ahead and delete those. After you delete the layers, we want to clean up the start G-code. So usually it goes to the center of the platform, but we don't want to do that now because it will just collide with our print and knock it off the bed and we can't restart it. You do want to leave in homing your printer if you move the print head by hand. If you didn't and you're afraid it'll collide, you can delete the line where it homes everything. However, a failed print, the filament could have pulled the extruder head and put it in the wrong position and then when you continue printing it will just be a un unfixable print. So once you're done editing the g-code you can go ahead and save that and upload that to your printer, send it over, put it on an SD card, however you do it, and just start printing it again. Now I can't stress enough that remember to home your printer before starting the print if you've moved your print head by hand because if not you'll get you'll get that mess that I got there um, so I went ahead and, and homed it again and after that it just it worked flawlessly So I am printing on glass and the prints pretty much self-remove if they're on a cold 
heat bed for a while. So if you're printing on glass, you'd either have to keep your heat bed on, which isn't very energy efficient, or use hairspray or glue, or you can just print on Biltec or regular old painter safe. This will allow the print to stick better, and if you do have a failed print, it's much easier to go back and fix it or restart it rather than having a half-built model that just pops off your plate. All right, so uh, here we are with our models. Here's our print that we restarted and saved. And you can kind of see, let's see if you can see, the line where it restarted. Right there. But looks a whole lot better than this. <laughs> if you're printing on glass you, and you leave it overnight, it's probably just not gonna work out because the plastic contracts and it uh, lifts itself off the build plate. But if you happen to leave your heat bed on or you catch it soon after your print fails, then you should be able to restart it uh, pretty easily. We got it spot on when we measured it what step it was on, so. So if you liked that video, smash that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe, leave a comment below, whatever you, whatever you wanna do, really. More content will be coming out soon, and I'll see you guys in the next video.